So last weekend I had the pleasure of spectating the incredible night of the 10k PBs and Sunday I was out on the streets of London supporting all the amazing runners taking part in the Hackney Half Marathon. In this video I'm taking you guys along the journey for a full weekend in London from start to finish. We've made it here to the track. Look at this. This is incredible. This will be absolutely buzzing later. Unbelievable. We have about 40 minutes until the first race. I'm just having a look around with Matt. Found Matt just over here. And uh, yeah, we're just checking it all out. This is going to be insane. So after a train from Gloucester to Paddington and a few underground stops, I made it down to Hampstead Heath, which is where the night of the 10K PBs is held. Checked out the area, checked out the track, had a look at some vantage points, met up with Matt straight away as we got there. He was getting ready for his race at 3.40 and of course headed over to the on booth to check out the Cloud Boom Echo 3. Scoped out some more areas for filming and then bumped into the Pro Direct team whilst they were doing some shots for the new on shoe. So here we go, I'm just going to throw you right into the action. This place is incredible. It's been a pleasure to walk around uh, the on stand and see the Boom Echo 3. That looks insane and they're doing my size. So I definitely want to try and test that one out. Some more incredible stuff here. This is just, I just said to Matt, this isn't just a race, this is an event. This is crazy and nothing started yet. So we're about 20 minutes away from the first race. I'm literally going to knuckle down, start getting into my place uh, to film and uh, try and get some good footage for you guys. Loads of races coming up. I see some familiar faces. So as the event kicked off around 3 o'clock, it was great to watch the first set of runners get out there. It was rather warm, it cooled down later in the day of course, but these guys in the first four races I'd say really did have some heat to contend with, but super inspiring to watch all of them out there give it their best shot. Then of course we moved on to the 3.45 heat, which is where Matt was racing and Cole, a fellow YouTuber, was out there aiming to get revenge on his race last year. Last year he came third from last and this year he had had an absolute stormer coming third overall. Watching Matt and Cole was extremely amazing, but also slightly frustrating because it just made me want to be out there on the track too. But those guys had an absolute blast and just watching them go through the tunnel lap after lap after lap was such an amazing experience. So great to get a post-race interview with Cole talking about his journey from last year to this year and then of course having a good chat with Matt about his race when he raced the 10k the weekend before and of course was only three weeks off the back of London and as you can see in the background there coach will doing his best to distract us Matt managed to get an interview with Cole as well and it was just great that the three of us were able to have some good time together to chat then we moved on to the third race which I have to be honest with you I didn't get too much footage of because at that point I'd ended up bumping into a fair few people was having a good chat with everyone and just getting into that festival style atmosphere but whilst this was going on in the background I did manage to get a few shots and see those incredible runners out there then we moved on to race four, which is where coach Will was involved. I was so happy for him. He was suffering with some hamstring issues in the final week and he'd really been sensible all week to make sure he got to the start line in his best condition possible. I was giving him a little bit of a pep talk here, which I'm not sure he appreciated, but I was just so buzzing to watch him race. So I'm just trying to have a bit of a breather. This is race four now. Coach Will is in this one. This is the most insane thing I've ever experienced. This is incredible. What an event. If there's any reason to try and qualify for or get a 32 something 10k it's this event here come the athletes now these are the leading two in this race absolutely flying and there's a local western tempo lad in this one just sitting at the back being really sensible in the orange vest there there he is dom go on dom and here's will he dropped off the back but he's now caught the out good job will good man absolute madness so these two runners ended up going off really fast in Will's race, but they ended up getting sucked back into the pack and it was an incredible race. Will managed to claw his way back, took loads of places on his way back up the field and finished in a fantastic time of 30 minutes and 40 seconds. Meanwhile, Matt was getting hungry, so we decided to head over, ring his PB bell because he got a track PB and headed over to see the food stands that were all around the outside of the ground. Matt managed to grab himself some food and we settled in to spectate the next race. So here we go, race number five underway, new position, really close to the track.
we're just grabbing a quick eating break in between. So what do we have? We have four or five races now. Uh, there's a 40 minute break. Then there's going to be some B races, I believe. Uh, women, then men. And we've got some 800 meter races. And then we got the main event later on. But this is just unlike anything I've ever been to. Just trying to grab a bit of food in, in between the melee. So that is the lead man in the B race. Um, this is unbelievable. This man is flying, but this whole race is flying. He's on. He's on the red line. Uh, the red line's right now. So 29:30 or something. This is absolutely insane. And then we moved on to the sixth race, which was absolutely dominated by this athlete here. I'll pop his name on screen because at the point of recording this, I can't remember what it was, but it was absolutely incredible. This man dominated from start to finish, as you can see, ahead of the red light pacing, and he ended up finishing well above that pacing, coming in in an insane sub 29 time. The rest of the field were having the usual battles you expect to see in a track race, but this guy absolutely was incredible. 28.51 for the winner. And then we moved in to some 800 meter races before the main final event of the men's and women's 10,000. These boys and girls were incredible. Under 17s and under 20 races, both men and women, and the speed these boys and girls were moving were absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. I've never watched an 800 meter race in my life, and it was just amazing to see. Those second lap tactics from all races were just incredible. And then we kicked into the women's 10,000 meter championship race. This was absolutely Absolutely insane penultimate race of the evening and I have to say that it did not disappoint the winner of this race absolutely blew the field apart and there were some great battles with the British girls and the other women in the race going on further back in the field <laughs> And then we move on to the final race, the men's 10,000 meter championship race. What a race this was. All eyes on Paul Chalimo. Could anyone beat him? Well, there we go. Did. Last I've race never underway. I've seen that in my this entire career. career. Stay fed. So good morning, it's the next morning now. I'm making my way into Hackney. Uh, so there's been a bit of an unfortunate uh, thing with my race entry, uh, just meaning that I can't run. Really gutted actually, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna dust myself off, get in there and spectate. So I'm just heading in there now. I'm just walking down to Hackney. There's a lot of people there again that I'm hoping just to at least wave to, cheer on. Uh, loads of people that I know and uh, lots of great people running it. So I'm hoping to make it there. There, I think I'm gonna miss my train to be honest with you. I've got three minutes to get there. But um, yeah, just gonna mosey on into London. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping after that, I can catch up with Coach Will. He was there last night, I bless him. He took a tumble in his race, um, uh, but he did incredible to work his way back up through the field uh, and did amazing. So it was great to see. Uh, hopefully we'll get to catch up with him before he heads back down uh, to where he is and where before I head off back home. So after two or three tube stops, we've made it to Honiton High Street, Honiton High Street, I think, for mile one of the Hackney Half. Prime position, so hopefully they're coming down that way and they're gonna be heading down this way. And I don't even think we're at mile one yet, so we should get 
a really good group of people come through straight away. Go on, Nick! Go on, mate! So just seeing the first wave of runners go through, atmosphere is amazing. Just London know how to do it, don't they? I'm heading off now to mile 11, which is where Pure Sport, Team Pure Sport are. Oh, you guys know I'm an ambassador for Pure Sport. Uh, muscle bar and freeze roll for the win. I use it all the flipping time. I'm just trying to find my way there. So I'm walking across course. I think it's this way, actually. I'm going to try and meet up with a lot of the boys and girls from Pure Sport. Maybe Ben, if he's there too. absolutely lost trying to find them. I've gone to mile 11 and just passed it. They're not there. So I'm going to assume they must be back the other side of mile 11. So here comes the leader. Just coming here, black vest. 55.48 on the clock. 10 and a half, 10.75 miles. Well done, buddy. Strong running, mate. Strong running. Well done, buddy. Good job, mate. Good job. Oh, here he is, Nick. Good job, mate. Brilliant. Let's go, Nick. Let's go, mate. Come on, buddy. Good job. Well done, buddy. Good job, mate. Good job. Well done, mate. Good job. Good job. Well done. Well done, mate. Good job, buddy. One of the best athletics. Well done, guys. Well done. Great running. Well done, mate. Hackney bringing the vibes. This is crazy. Look at them all just flying through. This is brilliant. Such a great spectacle. It's just what a day for it. What a day. So Ben's losing his voice. Same as me. Having a, having a good time today. Having a great time. Yeah. Love coming down to Hackney. It's such a good atmosphere. Real community vibe about this one. Good double header from you. <laughs> good double header from yesterday as well. Yeah, my voice is definitely feeling it. It feels like I've yeah, been shouting for hours. <laughs> Good. struggle towards the end of this one, I think. Oh, good man. Well done. So that was awesome. I'm just walking away from Hackney Half now, seeing some incredible stuff this morning. I've got a train to catch relatively soon in a couple of hours, two, three hours. I am hoping to try and meet up with, um, with Will, if, it, if possible. Uh, so if I do, I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about that so we could, because 
I'd love to have a coffee with him and just chat more um, about the upcoming training block. It's always great to see him. It was great to see him yesterday. Hopefully we can have a bit more quiet time, grab a coffee. We'll see. I know he's on a long run at the moment. So I'm just moseying my way on into town. I can see some town stuff over here in a station. So I'll hop on whatever train gets me in closest to town. There are the runners right through there, just finishing up, going through there. I'm heading this way though. Oh, and Victoria Park, by the way, athletics track there. Some incredible running spaces around here. If you run in Victoria Park, you are very lucky. So Victoria Park genuinely was such a great place. Just walking through there, so many runners, it looked fantastic. On my way back to Hackney Wick Station, I passed some of the final miles of the Hackney Half Marathon before hopping on the overground down to Camden to meet up with Will for a coffee. It was great to see him post-race, talked all about the upcoming training block, grabbed a Costa, grabbed a few treats as you can see, and uh, I was rather hungry at that point. Hadn't eaten too much that day. So we just wanted to grab some uh, grab some coffee and have a chat about his race, about what's coming up with the training block before heading back home. At this point, I just had to hop back down onto the Northern Line towards Paddington and get the train back home, wrapping up what was an absolutely incredible weekend in London. If you haven't already spectated either of these two races, I'd highly, highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. 